How you doing guys and gals? This is another video review from the pause menu on my iPhone and I'm very tired. I work today and I have not shaved yet so please forgive me. Today I am reviewing We Need to Talk About Kevin. Uh, now when all of this stuff was being announced and the videos online were coming out, I was really excited about this movie because the way it you know was telling the story it was you know, this child who has been born to a mother who is, he's just evil. I mean, he, he is born to make his mother's life a living hell, and he does. But the movie in a whole is so boring and drawn out, um, it, it just focuses on the emotion. And it tells the story in a way where it has to back up into... It's not really a Tarantino way, but it jumps back and forth between present day and what happened two years ago. Now, um, Ezra Miller, Ezra Miller, or the who plays um, the teenager, Kevin, he, you, he's a great actor. Uh, he is definitely one of those faces that you need to keep an eye on. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to be listed for a lot more roles. Um, he's, he's got energy. Like, he, he is the main character, and Tilda Swinton, who plays the mother, is a very nice actress, um, she... I mean, it's, it's hard to say because I'm on the fence. I mean, the movie is extremely boring. It really is. It's, it's taxing. I mean, you're spending two hours watching heartfelt depression like extreme sorrow with curiosity. Why is this world crumbling in front of, you know, the mother's eyes? And you're also wondering is like, what did Ezra do? Or Kevin? What did Kevin do? Well, I mean it's it makes me speechless. But that's just the acting, the story. The screenplay and how the the movie is shot it's just so draining I mean you watch the movie and you're just you're tired uh, I, I completely understand why this movie um, didn't do so well in North America I know it did very well overseas um, I mean Tilda Swinton's got a huge European following but this was a Sundance Film Festival movie and a uh, Tribeca Film Festival movie for a reason um, it it's on DVD and stuff now, but I know the sales have not shot up to that next level. Um, the movie... I can't say the movie is really entertaining. It's got a badass ending. Super badass ending. But it's not satisfying when you look in retrospect from the amount of time that you've spent into this movie. Um, I would not suggest to watch this movie unless... You are someone like me and someone who likes Tilda Swinton. I mean, she was the main pull to this movie, uh, even though this is not one of her better-looking films. I mean, she is a... Uh, she's just so sad-looking uh, and just drawn out. And I'm using the same adjectives over and over again. Um, she looks pitiful. I mean, that's, that's the way it, it looks. But um, definite key points to take from this is um, always love your children. Uh, don't let your son take up archery, which um, my parents, you know, they didn't do too well on that. Uh, I grew up being an archer. Um, pay attention to what your children do. Um, and... Watch out for Ezra Miller. Uh, he is a really good actor, and he steals the entire movie. Um, the young Ezra Miller, too, or the young Kevin. Uh, I can't remember who, or I don't know the name of that actor, but seriously. Um, I would give, we need to talk about Kevin, a one. A one out of five. Um, I do have to say, I hate John C. Riley. Every movie he's ever in, I hate John C. Riley. Uh, every scene in this movie that he was in, I was cringing. I hate him. 
I just did. I, he ruined uh, the vampire's assistant. But that's my own personal opinion, and uh, I guess it does reflect the pause menu, because I am the pause menu. But um, I would not advise to watch We Need to Talk About Kevin. It's not that good of a, good of a movie. But it is... It could be in your collection of uh, really wasted time, suspenseful drama with character-driven arcs that don't really have any energy. That's a good way to sum up the movie. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you are watching this and you want my review on any movie or you want to see my opinion on something, I know it's not really that important to you. You have a lot of other important stuff to do. But... Um, uh, I think the next movies I have in my queue to review are like The Station Agent. No, I'm not going to do The Station Agent. Um, the Stander, uh, Battle Royale. Uh, what were some other ones? I can't remember. But if you have any that you want me to review, uh, please comment below and tell me. Or you can go on to thepausemenu.weebly.com, which is the website for the pause menu, and give me an email at thepausemenu at gmail.com or you can go on my Facebook or Twitter. Twitter. Everything is at the pause menu. If you're curious or forget, just be like, oh, it's the pause menu. Anyway, see y'all and thank you for listening to my opinion on We Need to Talk About Kevin. Later.